Hi, everybody. My name is Barbara DePiro, and I am a mixed media artist, and I work in a range of different media. Uh, but my main focus is working in sculpture. And so I create sculpture out of paper, out of fiber, out of acrylic, and out of recycled materials, which is what I'm going to talk to you about today. I'm one of the artists in the exhibit at Shack Art Center called The Art of Recycling. And I've created several different sculptures as well as two large installations. And I'll share with you some images here in a second of those pieces as well as some of the other pieces that I've created. So let me share my screen here. Let me, there we go. Okay, I'll put it into a slideshow. And so this first image is a whole series of different projects that I've done through the years. And I've been working in this way for as long as I can remember. Um, and I'm talking, you know, working specifically with plastics, probably 10, 15 years, and working in sculpture even longer than that. And so you can see several projects here, but I'm going to go through and talk about some of these individually. This is Kelp Forest, which is one of the installations at Shack Art Center. And this is all created out of recycled plastic bottles, over 200 plastic bottles that have been cut into shards and then threaded and woven together to create these individual strands. Um, and the whole installation I'm calling Kelp Forest, uh, it was originally inspired by um, just my concerns about the ocean environment and what we were doing as a society with all the plastics, the production of plastics and the uh, disposal of plastics and so on. And so I decided to create this installation as a, a statement about that. And here's a close up image. You can see some of the individual strands. Um, and as an artist, not only am I making a statement, uh, an environmental statement, but I also find it really inspiring to work with a range of different mediums, a range of different materials. Each one has its own characteristic, and so I will do a lot of experiments just to see what I can possibly make with each. Uh, this is a, another version of the kelp forest that was installed at the Foss Waterway Seaport Museum in Tacoma, Washington. And then this is another installation that is currently at Shack Art Center. It's called Clusters, and each of these individual uh, circular forms are, are um, crocheted uh, uh, plastic. It's a synthetic plastic, or it's called strapping tape, and it's what they actually use uh, in shipping boxes, large containers or large boxes that holds everything together but there's really no way to recycle those. They end up going into the landfill. And so I had some connections with some different business and shipping resources and was able to collect quite a bit of this. And a close up look at some of these. And then there we go, another installation of this piece. Uh, it was also installed at the um, Bainbridge Island Museum of Art. And this is another installation that I've created. Again, this is out of the recycled plastics. These are, in my mind, I'm thinking of them as, as chrysalis forms or uh, cocoons. And so each one is about six to eight feet in length. They range in size. And, and they were, again, one gallon milk bottles and water bottles that were cut out and reattached. And the image on the, on the right, you can actually see how I attached it. And another version of that, because the plastic is translucent, I had fun playing around with it on different projects. This was an installation that was done in Tacoma, Washington, one of the storefront projects. And it was um, backlit with lighting, with LED lights so that they were not hot, so I didn't have to worry about any problems with the plastic. And then another version, and I think there's two images of this, and this was wall mounted. This was in a, another exhibit at Shack Art Center. And I worked with a digital artist who did digital mapping so we could project color and light uh, onto the surface of this. Yeah, there you go, another version. So just so the colors just undulated, it was on a loop and just would repeat. And then this is a project that was done 
at several locations. Each, each of these projects may have been repeated in different locations, but they all take on their own light because of, of that location. You know, I, I make them site, site specific. Uh, and so this one was adapted to these lampposts. Um, there were three of these. Uh, they're called Flourish and it was installed right outside of the Bellevue Art Museum on three different lampposts. And this, as you can probably guess by now, are plastic bottle caps and water bottles. And so they were wrapped around these lampposts and the full length of these, they were installed 10 feet up so people couldn't grab at it, but the full length of it was, um, or the full height of it is like 15 feet. So we actually had to use a lift to install these. And here again, you can see another use for water bottles and, and bottle caps. And this was installed at, let's see, Anacortes Art Festival. And so it was like a waterfall of bottle caps coming down. And then I wanted to create like giant beads out of the larger caps. And so that's what I um, achieved here. And, it, and then the water bottles. And again, they're all threaded onto to wire, uh, cable, and, and connected in different ways. There's another view of that so you can get a closer glimpse. And then these are three of the three of um, several of the sculptures that are again at Shack Art Center for the art of recycling. And these are called precarious pods. And again, it's the recycled plastic bottles and I've cut them into petals and uh, in different shapes and sizes. And they are all connected by crocheting them together with stainless steel wire. And a similar uh, use of materials, but this time in kind of a floral form. This is called radiate. And then keeping tabs. This is all aluminum tabs. And again, it was the individual tabs were connected by crocheting them with wire and attaching them to a circular form. This piece is also at Shack Art Center. And here's a close-up view so you can see the individual tabs. And I think that might be the last image. Yeah, well, then there's this one, which is we started off with. Um, and if you're interested in seeing more of my work, you can check out, I'm on Facebook and, and Instagram. And of course you can check out my blog. I'm using that as my website for right now. Um, but anyhow, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that gave you some insight to a different way of working with the materials. Thank you for taking a peek at my artwork. <laughs> Bye.